organic tea. It looks like the main business here is to have people to come and get a tour and pick the leaves from the tea bushes or plants or trees. And the, the point is here that you can, you can drink tea but it has ca caffeine in it and caffeine is not so good for the human body so if I come to, to if I want to drink tea of some kind of reason my mother likes tea so we ordered a pea flower tea with uh, lemongrass so it's more like herbs and also a mint and you can also put maybe a little bit, little bit of licorice root but licorice is again a little sketchy so yeah if you want to Drink something nice, drink water. When you go to the, these, this area with elephant camps like elephantnaturepark.org uh, and everything like that, there are like 10 or 15 elephant parks that say all the same that this is the only one and it has been active since 1970 or something. And they are like elephants. Uh, but but you, you don't really need to go inside because they are, you can see it from the road when you cycle. Uh, except they try to screen it off but really it's just a, a, in my opinion a bit of a money machine but it's a good thing because people probably work hard here to protect the animals so it's better that the tourists pay for the protection than maybe the government so the tourists pay for for like walking the elephants but in my opinion wild animals should just have an area where they can roam freely but everybody has their own opinion right Just for the record, these are not elephants. Otherwise, nice cycling area. Some areas are like with mud, so if you don't like to get mud on your bicycle, don't come here. So the excuse for having these camps is that these elephants have been treated badly by the industry where people are riding them. So the solution is that if people stop riding them, there's no need for any elephant camps, they can just roam freely in, the na in nature. Problem solved. Find solutions, not excuses. Bit of rain. Hapun kap. Tawari kap. Hello. Mineral water only 100 baht. 